Welcome to Hey Guys, an internet obsessed podcast where we discuss all your favorite social media stars, what they're doing, and how we feel about it. I'm Amanda Hasekut, a content producer for Instant, which basically means I keep my finger on the pulse of the internet at all times. And if you don't know what Instant is, it's a new media outlet and video platform dedicated entirely to covering digital creators. And today I am joined by the cast of Tagged, Go 90s new show. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Hi. Of course. So we have JC Kalen. Hello, hello. Claudia Saluski. I practiced it like four times and I still got it wrong. It's okay. And then Leah Marie Johnson. Thank you, guys. That was easy. So Tagged's new season comes out May 9th. And it seems like everyone's worst nightmare. Uh, it is like the scariest show ever. It's Do you guys want to break it down a little bit? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to break it down? Okay. I'll, <laughs> She's break like, it down, I'll break it down. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> okay. So, you know, the first season, it's a psychological thriller of these three girls who get tagged in this disturbing video by um, this username, Monkey Man. And basically, um, it's this mysterious murderer who has a reason to be pulling this revenge on these girls and is kind of black mailing them and you find out who it is and then season two um we bring well, in they, the whole they idea. think they find out who it is they oh. think so oh yes yeah. <laughs> and then season two they find out that so much more uh and so many more people are involved and it mm-hmm. becomes hashtag the zoo so there's more animals there's more people that are intertwined in this huge thing and so the whole season of second two is kind of figuring out like who's a part of it who started this who's out to get them Um, you know, are other people involved? Mm -hmm. And so pieces are just coming together as well as new characters. And Mm -hmm. it's basically just one giant, can I, am I allowed to swear? No. Girl, you can swear. It's one giant shit storm. That's (laughs) just, yes. Yes. (laughs) It sounds like anyone could be a suspect, basically. Yeah. Right? Everyone's a little sus. Yes. So when you guys first read the script, like, are, can you pick up on things? Like, did you sort of, solve the mystery of season one or season two or when you read it are you like i still don't know i have no idea when we, honestly when we watch it still don't know <laughs> oh yeah Hannah's like so secretive Hannah, about everything yeah, she's so. pretty secretive yeah she is like I, we try and pry information out of her but she'll she won't budge yeah yeah because yeah. even after filming season two like there's still so many little drops and hints of unexplained things that mm-hmm. will ask Hannah, like, why did that happen? Or, like, what's that mm-hmm. intention? And she'll be like, hmm, I don't know. Maybe uh, season three will answer that one. <laughs> would, you, would you guys get your scripts, like, were there pieces missing to keep mystery alive? Or was it? No, it was all there. It's it still there. mystery. That's good. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you read it and you're like, what did I just yeah. read? Because yeah. yeah. exactly. I know sometimes with shows, you know, they'll film, like, multiple endings. So yeah. would, whichever one is the actual ending people like it keeps them guessing kind yeah. of thing. I think we actually well the the ending that we filmed a couple of different like outfit alternate, alternate mm-hmm. outfit changes. Okay. So I don't know if I don't know what Hannah's gonna do with that. Hannah's a director by the way for right. people that are listening. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm not too sure. Dang. That sounds so cool. So I'm sure you guys get a lot of like pretty little liars comparisons. Because yeah. that's pretty so you know vibes. Say, but I've mystery. Never, yeah. Do you guys watch Pretty Little Liars? Seen, I've never seen is. Pretty Little Liars, yeah. but I know, yeah. From what I've seen of Tagged, it seems a little more raw than Pretty Little Liars. It I seems think a little so. bit Maybe more, it's more, grounded. more intense. Yeah. L- like more the edgy. subject matter seems to be a little bit heavier. There's like PTSD and like drug use mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. So, what about <laughs> the script and the show were you excited to tackle? Um, I think personally for my character, um, Nikki, you know, she was a supporting role in the first season, and so you kind of discover her as, like, the cheerleader girl, Haley's best friend. Um, And so she kind of helps picture, like, the friend group and the situation that's going on at school. And with season two, she kind of comes back um, greatly affected by Mm -hmm. season one. And so for me personally, I was so excited for, um, you know, some scarier scenes and more intense ones where you really get to see Nikki kind of unfold her emotions. And so it was fun to just have that, like, character switch up for me personally. Mm -hmm. How, how do like, so each of you kind of go, how, like you mentioned your character, her kind of shift from season one to season two. Yeah. Uh, Leah and JC, how do your characters kind of change between seasons, would you say? Um, I feel like Sean's just the same guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's a little, he gets a car. Yeah, he gets, he gets, he gets a Jeep. Jeep. It's really a cool Jeep. Uh, but he's also uh, a suspect, I believe, in season two. Mm. And um, Is yeah, it people. fun to kind of play up that, 
you know, yeah. like, is he, isn't he kind of thing. Yeah, I always talk to Hannah about it. And I'm like, what should I play as? Like, can I, should I give it, like, a hint of, like, I'm a little bad boy? Or, yeah. Yeah. or I'm God, like a good kid. <laughs> good kid. <laughs> Deep down. And she's like, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're feeling. And I was oh, like. Oh, that's oh. so fun. Yeah, yeah. So. That's, like, I feel like that gives you a lot of, like, room to work with. And kind yeah. Of room yeah. for growth and I, stuff. I believe he's a little sus. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my character, I really liked playing, like, the in-between. Well, when season one ends, um, it, it, like, leaves all, I, like, I have to, Haley's character, I'm not very good at giving answers. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> um, I like the fact that in between seasons, Haley goes to rehab. So season two, she's kind of struggling with that, like, wanting to buy pills, but knowing that she shouldn't because she would relapse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um... You just like kind of like struggle. Yeah, like, like struggle, and also dealing with that, and then also dealing with the zoo and like being like a back murder in school. type of person stalking you. That yeah, seems, that's it. Like there's a lot, like a lot. Sometimes it's just like really tiring when you're getting blackmailed and stalked. I but. would be exhausted. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you guys. So <laughs> you guys, you filmed the show in New Mexico. Was yes. it in Albuquerque? Yeah. yeah. I love Albuquerque. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Did yes. you guys? Did you guys that's eat sopa pias? Yes. What was that? Sopa pias. So about being on. Oh, oh my like God. the empanadas. If you guys go back, they... so when season three happens and you guys go back, mm -hmm. um, it's like a New Mexican, or I think it's like a Mexican Yeah, I know. I know delicacy. Sopapillas. It's, about it's so basically just like fried dough and you put yeah. honey in it. Oh, I love those. Out. That's like, when, when I heard you guys filmed in Albuquerque, I was like, that's the first thing I thought and green, of. And green chili is really popular there. Oh, it's like yeah. very like red or green. <laughs> yeah. Everything. yeah, that's so fun. Um, so how is it kind of... Did the cast bond a lot? Because it's sort of like, obviously not in L.A., you're not in your normal territory, so how was the cast bonding and, you know, being oh on location? We all love, we love each other. So <laughs> like, good. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like the best cast in the world, like, yeah, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Season, well, season one, like, we all, you know, we became, like, you know, one little family. Mm -hmm. And then we linked back up for season two. And then we have a couple more new characters. So, but everyone gets along really, really mm -hmm. great. Yeah. What kind of stuff do you guys do to bond? Because, like I said, you know, I, a lot of you probably live here and have certain things that you do. But yeah. Albuquerque's, like, not, Albuquerque's great, but it's not, super, like, a super bustling yeah. kind yeah. of place. So it's like, different what? from L.A. Yeah. yeah. But we went camping. Oh, um, so yeah, that was we really stayed in fun. a cabin. Oh, wish I was there for we that. Went, went to a Hikes. hot spring. Oh, yeah, that was um, a couple people got nude. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to go all natural. Like really close with each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. season yeah, like, one. <laughs> season <laughs> one, we uh, we visited like the hot air balloon festival. Yeah, that oh, was, that's we, so. Awesome. We carved so pumpkins. Um, so I think it's just like about who you're with. Yeah, like, you just yeah. make it fun. That's you know, so, that sounds it's like really that. Good. You guys have like explored more of it than I have. Yeah, my grandparents are from there. Like, my dad is, like, from there, so I yeah. grew up going there, so. Santa Fe? Have you been to Santa Fe? Uh, I've been to Santa Fe. Yeah, that was, that was really too. fun. Very yeah, beautiful. Really cool. That's fun. Um, so in terms of you guys kind of talked about your characters and the differences between season one and season two, but what's just kind of, like, the overall, like, what some of the biggest differences between the first two seasons? Obviously, there's more people involved <clears> in <throat> the stocking and all that kind of stuff, but what are some other, some um, other differences? I feel like from a writing perspective, I think Hannah just did not hold herself back on this. Um, I was watching a little clip where she talks about it and she was like, it gets sexier, it gets scared, it gets more scary, it gets more intense, it gets more edgy. Like I really think after seeing the like crazy engagement and excitement around the first season, she was like, all right, like no more holding me back, right? right? right. And so Sky's I think she it. just, yeah, and it just, it makes it feel so raw and real and mm -hmm. like addicting. Are there like a lot of deaths in season two? I don't know. I mean, oh. I know you guys can't spoil anything, <laughs> they're gonna, but we're we, gonna like we, slap we, our hands and leave. Like, <laughs> there's there's some characters added for sure, and there's some, some characters removed, yeah. So we'll just say so are removed. <laughs> so removed. obviously, you guys can't give away too many spoilers, yeah. but if you had to pick maybe three or five emojis that are kind of some good spoilers, or, you know, maybe yeah. just en encompass the season as a whole. Uh, five well, all three of the monkeys. <laughs> this oh, my God. That's yeah, so that's true. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What, what are some other ones? Yeah. 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 Uh, a bomb emoji. Oh. oh, that's a good one. Whoa. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um, the snake emoji. Snake mm. emoji. Um, Let's see. What else? Um, uh, oh, why not all the animals? emoji. The zoo. Oh. All the animals. All the animals. All the all animals. The animals. A coffin. A coffin. For, um, all, the, for all the yeah. Oh, homies. Honestly, the gun emoji. Gun emoji, wow. coffin. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. All the all the all the edgy all the edgy emojis. <laughs> all, yeah, Skeleton, all that. Every this is skulls, skulls, yeah. Yeah. All the angsty teen ones. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think now the gun emoji is like it's like a squirt gun. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like a green Which one. Which kind of fits better. So water gun. Actually, what happens a little bit? Oh, it has to relate to a gun in the show. Kind a of. squirt gun? Oh, well, not a squirt gun, but like <laughs> no. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Just like different Try not to drop it. Show. Exactly. Um so if you guys all want to go around, what is your favorite thing about True. playing your character? Favorite thing about playing our character? Mm-hmm. Uh, I like playing Sean because he wears the same clothes as me. <laughs> so I don't really have to like get dressed up any other way. It's kind of, and, well, they take all my clothes, though. That's the only thing. So when I visit Albuquerque, I'm left with like, Three T-shirts. You know, like, <laughs> so they take it all. Well, you guys all get naked, so it's not like yeah, you need true. It. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I don't even need it. Exactly. You're right. Um, my favorite thing about Nikki, I would say, is um, playing the role, knowing that like she's not the most innocent person. Um, so I can't really say anything, but she has like a lot of secrets to herself, and so I don't know. It's just fun playing with kind of like a heavier weight on my shoulders. Mm-hmm. Like that's such a like deep answer yeah. but, you know. <laughs> my favorite thing about playing Haley is all the emotion I get to like it's portray mm-hmm. it sounds like yeah it sounds like she goes through a roller coaster of yeah emotion, it's so. really I've like ever since I first read um the script or the sides for the audition I was instantly like addicted to Haley's character it's mm-hmm. so much fun mm-hmm so I know you mentioned you wear the same clothes as your character. <laughs> Are there any other similarities, would you say? Other similarities? Um, <laughs> like personality-wise? Like, personality, a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Personality-wise, yeah. yeah. He's kind of more of like the laid-back. Uh, yeah. And you're not laid-back at all. I'm kind of laid-back, I'd say. Eh, nah, yeah, you're not I'm laid-back laid laid right you're now. You're bouncing off the walls right now. Yeah, yeah you're so hyper. Hard to calm down. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Calm down. Yeah, I can be a little like mysterious, too. I think Sean uh, plays that. You hold the well. hold the clothes the what was it, what's that saying like the cards close to your vest yeah. or whatever. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Don't want to reveal too much. Yeah. I could say I'm a little sus sometimes. <laughs> Aren't we all sus. though? Aren't yeah. we all? We have our own. It's fun being a little sus. Yeah. <laughs> Keep them guessing. Right. Keep them guessing exactly. And what are some differences like between your characters? Differences. Like, um, like something you're like I don't relate to that at all about my character. Um, I feel like I might be able to speak for both of our yeah. characters, actually. But I feel like in some of the ways how they react to the situations and whatever, they tend to, like, isolate themselves, mm-hmm. whether it's, like, not having her phone on her or, um, you know, Nikki, the two months that happened in between the two seasons, like, she kind of totally isolates herself and doesn't really hang with anyone. And so I think... Um, I don't know. I feel like we're pretty social people and we like to be around people. Yeah. And so especially when I'm like sad or going yeah. through something, like, I'm like, I want to be with people, not yeah. like totally. Yeah. I don't know. Um, is there another character on the show that you do identify with where you feel like you're pretty similar Ooh. to them? Um, no, I like Sean. <laughs> like Sean, Sean Jerome. I, I really yeah. like Lucas's character, um, mm-hmm. but... Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't really relate to his character at all, but he's just really funny in the mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. He's just like, kind of like the smart aleck, like just kind of says what he wants. Right. Hits on the teachers, hits on all the girls. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it totally. o- like it only increases in season <laughs> yeah. two. Yeah. 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 Like just so. wait for his one. Yeah, letters. you see. Yeah, and all, but also you can see Lucas's character going through a lot in season two. You see like a <laughs> oh, yeah. completely different side of oh, Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, which is really dope. Mm-hmm. Nice. I mm-hmm. haven't seen all, we haven't seen all the episodes yet. Oh, no. So the first three and yeah. I've seen Kinda clips of that, other yeah. episodes. Yeah, I've seen so many random episodes. I know. Right? <laughs> like one through four to nine. <laughs> <laughs> one through mean? four and nine. No, you did not. How? So how many episodes are there this season? <laughs> how many episodes are in, in the season? I think 12. 12. 12. 12. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, so you guys got like a ways to go. I know. I, I know, only saw like three. Oh God. Hannah yes. doesn't send me nothing <laughs> it's you have to I wait. send you the links but I think they expired already you, you have, have to wait like the rest of us you guys yeah. <laughs> well you know what happens you lived it you well like but you I guess yeah, yeah, like like I wasn't there for like a lot of and it's scenes, so yeah. fun to actually finally watch it back yeah. and see all the work that you did and yeah. like the CGI and the <clears> explosions the music, the music. yes yeah. it all comes together yeah what was your favorite episode from the first season would you guys say Ooh. I really liked the first episode and the first scene. Yeah, uh, I agree. It was probably one of the funnest scenes to yeah. uh, to film. And it was uh, the scene where we're all hanging out, including Brandon. 
Mm -hmm. um, and we're all just kind of getting drunk on a playground. And it kind of establishes, like, mm -hmm. the, our characters and yeah. how fun we are. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was, like, really fun. Yeah. I love that scene. Yeah. yeah. It was, like, the first 10 minutes of that day on that shoot. Hannah was just like, all right, I want you guys to just improv. Agno yeah, improv. Do whatever yeah. you want. Exactly. Yeah. And so, like, yeah. you guys, like, started rapping, like, spitting bars. <laughs> and we're just, like, giggling, like, passing back and forth this, like, green tea. Yeah, it was, like, board. a fake one. <laughs> It's awful. Um, was that was that the first scene you guys filmed like for the whole series or was no oh. no yeah yeah no, it, was, it like, was like the third day of filming uh, but yeah so you guys were like comfortable with each other and, yeah, yeah. Oh, did you yeah. guys meet prior to filming to like kind of bond and yeah. all that kind of stuff uh, we've, we've known, known each other oh, I've known I know these two Brandon I remember Brandon <laughs> was two. in my van when <laughs> I know these two, two. <laughs> these uh, two. Uh, right I met there. Brandon in the van when they picked me up from the airport. Yeah, it was. Oh. I still remember to this day. I was in that band. Oh, you're in the band. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, yeah. That's okay, so fun. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you guys to film the second season? A few months or? You guys? Uh, take, I yeah, think a was, month. A yeah. Month. Wait, she was there yeah, we filmed. Yeah, so we got. I think we prepped for like a few days, and then we filmed like the rest of the month. We stayed in Lulu, Caitlin, and I stayed in like an apartment complex together, um, and then everyone else kind of like weaved in and out. Like, mm -hmm. throughout the month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Mm -hmm. um, if you could play another character on the show, who do you think you'd want to play? All right. I already got my answer. Okay, you uh, go first. But it's difficult for me. Well, um, it would have to be Zoe, which is a newer character in oh, season yeah. two. So I don't want to say a bunch, but, like, from so far with what I'm seeing, um, she just walks with so much confidence mm -hmm. and just like absolutely no cares for like what she says and she's just like unapologetic which i think is mm -hmm. so cool and she plays such a cool like Very strong yeah presence yeah so that would have been fun what about you you said you liked lucas right yeah i would play brandon oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like such a smart ass and i, li I like being a smart ass <laughs> yeah it's kind of fun <laughs> i think either uh caitlin or lulu like or I don't know. I it's it's really difficult. I mm -hmm. like all the characters, and I also I would never like give up Haley. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I love playing Haley. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that's an answer. You, yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did it. So I'm sure there's probably <laughs> there's probably a lot of like. Have you guys seen a lot of like fan theories of what people think is gonna happen on the show? Do you like read up on those at all? Or yeah. Do you kind of, like stay away. Yeah, and they ship people and like who they who yeah. they oh, want to yeah. who like which two like people they want to be with. Yeah, with each other the and ships. they don't. Yeah, the ships. So who are who are some of the better ships you've seen, <clears throat> or ones that you agree um, with? <laughs> which one has a lot of emotion? Uh, Lulu's character and and Nick's character. I I don't know. I think everyone's excited. Would that to be? See what, do what people come up with, with the couple names? Would that be like Lick? Would that be Lick? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Their their character names in the in the uh, show. Oh. Uh, Rowan <laughs> and um, yeah, Jake. Jake, that's yeah, right. I don't know like, what that. Rake? Uh, Rake yeah. <laughs> or Joey? Jake or Lake. Oh my God. Oh, it's so Rake, Rake. Haley, Haley and Sean's a Shaley. Um, I don't think we do. We have Mickey one. Haley and Sean. Yeah, like Sicky. <laughs> 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 I recently Snickers. found out there's a, a freaking GIF uh, in New York uh, Times Square. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Lee and I kissing. I saw it in, in the person. water. So yeah. like uh, you sound didn't, so upset about it. Didn't even know that was a thing. But I was, uh, you're like, you're like, excuse so me, no one, no one asked me about this. It's like, <laughs> no, no, I know it is. It is kind of embarrassing. Yeah, like, <laughs> like yeah. we're on this giant billboard in yeah. New York, and we're just like going back and forth, like, and it's in black and white. Yeah, so artsy. And that, yeah. Watching that scene Very back was the worst. Why? Okay. <laughs> I'm excited Why? to see that scene. It was the worst because I that have to get steamy. I, I, I have to get naked and like yeah. <laughs> that's that's a little uncomfortable. That's yeah, a little so underwater. Not like we said, no that. holding back. Season two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess. Oh, oh man, um, <laughs> no, but so I feel like this is another thing. Like again, like I feel like there's some Pretty Little Liars similarities, but. Right. I feel like you watch these shows and you see all this crazy stuff happening. I'm like, why doesn't anyone just go to the police? Why doesn't anyone go, right. excuse me, um, I'm being stopped. a lot of times where I thought and, that. Well, because yeah. if they do, they'll know and then yeah. someone will end up hurt. I yeah. always thought about that as yeah. well. I yeah, I remember asking you. I like, mean, what? I get it. But at the same yeah, time, but at if the we're same happening time, in real life, yeah. you're like. Because Rowan's dad is a cop, which right. is like, it'd be so easy, but she doesn't have like a. Like a good relation, a good enough relationship to just tell him, and right. also like she's being trapped by the zoo. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that's another hard thing with teenagers is it's already hard enough to communicate like with your parents exactly. and authority yeah. as it is. 
that, <laughs> you know, when you're going through something as traumatic as that, you don't mm. know what to do or who to turn to. Exactly. Well, I mean, think about all the kids that are, like, gay and they can't come out to their parents. <clears throat> like, this is all, I mean, it's a different type of intensity. But, like, right. if you can't, if they can't even, like, do that, t- talk to the parents about mm-hmm. that. How, how are you supposed to open expect, up to them about Yeah, like, I'm being stalked and chased by a ton of people who hate me. Yeah. Like, what? Exactly. And then also in season one, like, Monkey Man had dirt on all the girls and mm-hmm. knew, like, secrets of theirs. And so he would yeah. threaten to, like, yeah. release them yeah. if they went anywhere. And completely mm-hmm. ruin and so, their lives. Yeah, their social. Course. True. And so through, like, bullying online, which is such a thing mm-hmm. nowadays, too, you know? It's, yeah. Um, so it's, like, interesting to see these, like, flawed, hurt characters mm-hmm. go through it and how they, you know, experience and mm-hmm. react. So I feel like... If you guys, and this is obviously going to be like a fun, lighthearted secret, Mm -hmm. but if there is a secret about you guys that you like would want to get out, or maybe something that is surprising about you, and it doesn't have to be anything too intense, but you know, what would would be one that you would be like, ah, Um, I'm like, I don't want my mom to Yeah, I feel like I wear my heart on my sleeve. I I, I take more baths and showers, I think. Oh, whoa. That's that's surprising. Yeah. That's oh very God. surprising. <laughs> <laughs> you shower? I shower sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> when, he, when he feels like it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I have one. Come on, tell us your deepest secret. I'm thinking. Deepest, darkest. <laughs> or just something like maybe that people would be like surprised to know about you or yeah, yeah. something unexpected. Um, that is hard. I'm like trying to think of one for myself. <laughs> I, and I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, you're just, like I'm a pretty open book. I'm pretty yeah. open book as well. I tweet that I'm on the bath all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're like, you're not hiding that shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh I don't know. We, we can we can circle back. Okay. We're like really lame and boring. So. I know. I'm like also <laughs> exhausted. Like Monday morning is not, I did not get the start I needed. I, know, I, I need some coffee What secrets happened last night? What? <laughs> Let me, yeah. Maybe if... A uh, couple, actually. Okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe before we get into this. <laughs> um, and again, like, so this can be lighthearted as well, but we yeah. have this thing that we like to do called social media horror story, where it's kind of just something, like an example that I like to give is, you know, sending, like, the wrong Snapchat to somebody, or, like, tweeting your phone number, or, like, mm-hmm. someone, I forget who it was, but someone said that they tweeted a photo of themselves, like, on the toilet, like, stuff like oh, this, yeah. like, have you guys ever had something, like, really embarrassing happen? Like, yeah, happen actually, I've had it happen to me two days ago. <gasps> I accidentally, I accidentally put my Snapchat on, I mean, I, I put my address on Snapchat. Oh, <laughs> oh no. The new Addy, my new. I just moved into a new house. Oh, no. And I, well, don't tell people. And, oh, yeah. It's even worse. Yeah, well, no, it's 24 hours. It's all good. I deleted it, but yeah. So did you have anyone show up or? No, no one showed up yet. And please, if you're listening to this, don't, don't show up. Please don't. <laughs> um, you could send mail if you want, I yeah, guess. It was but. just an accident. And it was only up for like 10 minutes. But I people got screenshots. So. I feel like I can't decide if your address or your phone number would be more violating. You know? Yeah. I think phone number because anyone in the world can call you. That's true. Uh, yeah. People like might not feel that compelled yeah. to like go to that address. Yeah, my, <laughs> like, yeah. My I'm gonna get my car so right times. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Ooh, I think what I would always <laughs> do is like before Snapchat showed like your friends who watch your snaps mm. before it was just everyone, and so like I don't know if you guys ever did this, but like you'd sneak in like like a private snap in your story to then like see who of your friends are like stalking you so then you can see it and then you go back to public. Oh yeah. And I've, like I've seen I would do that. yeah that's and I would sneaky. always see, yeah. well now it's fine. Now it's sucks. fine. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, I see. I see and what so, you're like, saying. Yeah. Exactly. And so I'd like forget to take it off of private and so I'd be like snapping for like five days straight. Like quality content, grade A, funny, everything. And like none of it anyone saw besides like ten of my friends. Yeah. Like, okay, never mind. I fail as a YouTuber. I'm definitely, I'm definitely great cool, cool content. Like, like the greatest stuff ever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely have times Ten where views. <laughs> I definitely had occasions where, like, I'll take, I'll be like in the store or something, and they like take a picture of like a skincare item or something, and I mean to just like send it to my sister, but then like mm-hmm. I put it on my story, uh, yeah. and then people look at it and they're like, why? And like I'll be like, I'm getting this one or something. Like that. Yeah, yeah. People will look at it and be like. What? Great <laughs> story. I'm getting this one, guys. I'm happy for you. <laughs> oh, that one's like, I, I my roommate something. also, I always tell this story, but my roommate was kind of like 
casually talking with this guy and she's at a wedding and she like snapchatted the wedding and like put a bunch of bride emojis and she sent it like directly to him really and he's like already yeah. <laughs> um i think i'm always embarrassing online like yeah. i'm always posting embarrassing videos of myself or i don't know i'm not very good at social media so i've probably like messed up a couple of times but i can't see think but that's anything. okay as long as you're not bothered by it then who cares you yeah, yeah. Like if, if that doesn't bother you i've been trying i've been deleting the instagram app off my phone mm. so, be, so because i wish notice that i'm i'm always on it mm. yeah. and it's i'm always scrolling and it's, it's so scary. i've just been deleting it and then um re-uploading it to my phone mm-hmm. like whenever i need to post, post something like yeah. if i have a cool photo to post it's like, more- I feel like it, you are more authentic that way. If you're just yeah. like, I'm only yeah. going to post. Like, Living your life yeah. instead of I'm gonna worrying about this that idea stuff. of what you want people yeah. to think your life I is mean, yeah, like. You guys are all like social media stars. For, you know, <coughs> um, like how does, and you've obviously like transitioned to acting, which is mm. probably what, you know, some YouTubers want to do. Like when you guys started kind of becoming into the digital space, was acting always kind of like the end goal or was it just sort of a result of it? What'd you say? I think the result. I, I, I never really grew up wanting to be an actor. <laughs> uh, my mindset on some other things. So, But I, I, I do, like if the, role, if the role fits, you know, or the character fits, uh, I'm down to take on the role mm-hmm. and uh, challenge myself. What are but, like the biggest like differences, would you say, between just kind of being your social media self and kind of like your actor self, would you guys say? Um, I would say the process is different because when you're making YouTube videos, like you're, you're setting it up, you're doing the lighting, you're editing it, mm-hmm. you're posting it, you're seeing everything before it goes up. And with acting, it's like, yeah. you know, you like work so intensely yeah. on this thing and you have fun, whatever, and you don't see any of it until like a year later. And so you have no idea, exactly. you know, what the vibe is going to be like and what, your hands. whatever, exactly. So it's like being able to like have trust in others. That was like a huge thing for me yeah, yeah, yeah. because, you know, you like just ha- like controlling your own YouTube channel. You just get yeah, so used to having every, yeah. yeah, all the power to every aspect to it. So it's like being able to like, just, uh, you know, sit back, wait for that stuff, and just trust that they'll know what they're doing. Um, and Mom, so I think yeah, that's I'm, like a big... Yeah, I'm always begging Hannah for like another shot. Uh, or just she's like, like, I can do it like better, one more shot. She's yeah. like, no. And she hugs me, she's like, you did good, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta trust me. A little background. Striving like, for ah, excellence. Gold like star, gold star. You got like it. it. <laughs> um, so anything else? Any final, like, what's one thing that everybody needs to know about season two of Tagged? <clears throat> it's going to be 10 times more intense. Oh, what? Bigger explosions. The premiere. Oh. And when it premieres. And if, you, if you're curious on how, where, where you can see it, when it's going to happen, oh, yeah. comes out tomorrow. The first three episodes on Go90. All you have to do is May download 9, it on your mobile device. If you're watching this on a random. Yes. If you're, or May 9th. It's, <laughs> it's probably already this, out. Not so, tomorrow. <laughs> it might be out today. This. So May 9th, three episodes, and then following after that, every single Tuesday, new episode. On Go90. <clears throat> yes. Right? And we'll be watching yes. it with y'all because. The trailer's on Austin's Hannah doesn't send us anything. YouTube channel check I, it out I, 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 I think it might be a little too scary for me I'm not gonna lie to you because it's too real no. that's why it's scary watch it with like a like your boo thing <laughs> there you go <laughs> so if you need like a, a shoulder with, to cry on I'll, I'll watch it with the lights on yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just desensitized yeah. to it because I we filmed it exactly so I'm like, okay, it's not that bad it's not that yeah, scary like come oh, on blah 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 it's gonna pop out <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. I, I think that's when it's scary is when it seems real like when it yeah. seems like yeah. something that could, ha- could actually happen to you that's totally. when it's scary that, I think that's yeah I, I think it kind of makes it even scarier because you're watching it on your cell phone yeah because go 90 is an app mm-hmm. I'm so. gonna like throw it my phone in the trash right. like, yeah <laughs> we should on, I'm, I'm gonna throw my phone off in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <I'm> like, <laughs> well thank you guys so much for joining me again you guys make sure to check out tagged season 2 premieres May 9th on go 90 First three episodes are available right away, right? And then you can, and then once a week, you guys. And then you wait. just gotta, you gotta let that simmer in you your head for a week until you, <laughs> you get more answers. Wait. Um, well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Thanks, thank for you. Having you. All right, thanks, guys.